User management in Microsoft 365 can be tough, can't it? There's multiple tenants to log into, multiple portals, and you've got to keep it all secure. You've got to make sure that your engineers don't have too many permissions. You've got starters, levers, people forgetting the phones with the pass keys on them. Now these are exactly the types of problems that MSP Mike has. And you wanna know something? He doesn't manage them very well, as you are about to find out. But it's okay, because Augment Allen is here to save the day. Oh, oh, I see the problem. Yes, yeah, yeah, that is unfortunate. But, yeah, I'm really sorry. No, 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 I promise it won't happen again. You all right, Mike? No. One of our customers had a new start today and we got the email address in the wrong format. These things happen. But this one, it's bad. The new user is called Chris Bacon. Okay, and? Well, I decided to use his middle name in his email address. I thought it looked more professional. The problem is, his middle name is Peter. Right. So now his email address is Crispy Bacon. And Chris is a vegetarian. He's fuming. Mike, this could have easily been avoided if you were just using Augment Engage. You can build onboarding profiles for each client. So every tech creates users the same way. No creativity, no surprises, no bacon. In Engage, you can set up onboarding templates so everything is completely consistent. Licenses, groups, even usage location. And if someone's in a similar role, you can simply clone an existing user with one click. Same group, same licenses, same configuration. This just makes onboarding a breeze and prevents mistakes like, well, this. Mike, how do you manage access to your customers' Microsoft 365 admin portals? Easy. We've just got one global admin per client, and every engineer uses that. One login, one password. Easy peasy. In fact, to improve efficiency, we made the password the same for every client. It's about working smarter, Alan, not harder. Mike. Have you not heard of Lee's privilege? It's an essential part of zero trust. And Mike, every major compliance framework requires it. NIST, CIS, Essential 8, even Microsoft Secure Score. Share global admin accounts will fail all of them. In Engage, you assign the right permissions to the right people, nothing more. Role-based access tenant separation, and no shared global admins. It keeps you aligned with zero trust and all the compliance standards I just mentioned. Augment is compliance focused, so least privilege becomes the default, not the exception. So Engage can give engineers only the permissions they need. Oh, that's handy. Oh, hang on a sec, Alan, one second. Oh, let me take this. Hello? Yeah. yeah. You've gone only for two weeks and you forgot to put your out of office on. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Right. You can't log on to set it. No, you won't be able to. Well, I had to reset your password to add your out of office, didn't I? No, I can't tell you what I've reset your password to. Well, I don't know it's you. Hey, we care about security here, you know. Yeah, same to you. Mike, you don't need to reset someone's password to set an out of office. You can do it in Gage in about five seconds. From here, you can set the user's automatic replies without touching their mailbox access or their password. Easy peasy. Alan, this engage. 
it looks really good actually. Yeah, it's great for daily user management. Anything else go wrong today, Mike? Oh yeah, Charles Bell. He forgot his phone at home, didn't he? And his phone, has got his passkey on it. Honestly, life would be much simpler with just a username and a password. And also, far less secure. So, what did you do? Well, I told him to go home and get it, didn't I? Ah, I bet he loved that. Mike, you could have just created him a tap. A tap? Yes, temporary access password. One-time use. Get him logged in quickly. It would have saved Charles a two-hour round trip on the tube. Typical. In Engage, issuing a temporary access password is quick and secure. Perfect for when someone forgets their phone or loses access to MFA. What now? You can't use Office apps? Well, no, you won't be able to. Well, I only gave you an Exchange Online Plan 1 license. Why didn't anybody tell me? Oh, they did. All right, Mike, more problems. Yes, that was Crispy Bacon again. Sorry, Chris Bacon. He's got the wrong license. Ah, we can fix that really quickly. In Engage. In Engage, you can quickly assign or remove licenses in one place, making sure that every user has the right license to be able to do their job. Mike, Mike. Oh, what? Oh, Alan. It's 3 a.m., Mike. Why are you still awake? I've got a ticket to offboard a user. They work the night shift. They finish at 5 a.m. So I thought I'd just stay up and do it. You know, do a through her. Oh, Mike. Did you not know? Oh, let me guess. There's something in Engage that can do it. Yes, the off-boarding scheduler, Mike. All you do is set the date and the time and engage does the rest automatically. So as you can see, user management can be one of two things. You could be like MSP Mike, chaotic, manual, exhausting. Or you could be like Augment Allen, automated, secure, and standardized. So if you want fewer tickets, happier technicians, and a lot less of those evening off-boarding sessions, then check out Augment Engage. Link in the description. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.